Good evening everybody and welcome to Craft and Share and it's Thursday the 26th of October and I'm Debbie Moore. I'm super excited to be here. I've really enjoyed these sessions and thank you everybody for all your lovely comments I've received recently about you all enjoying the shows. It's great to know that you are liking the new ones that we do in the morning and Bella's show and of course our Thursday show. Tonight's show is super excited because it's all about members. Now don't panic thinking well I'm not a member. Actually if you're watching the show you automatically become part of our crafting community which means on the last uh, Thursday of the month we do a special special members event which means you get special discounts we're going to get special offers we're going to get giveaways and a bit of everything really and of course some crafty chat so talking of crafty chat there's loads of you already on YouTube we've got Pat we've got Donna We've got Dawn and we have also got Georgia. Wow, there's lovely. Uh, Georgia saying first time saying hello, love your card kits and it's lovely to see you. Well, thank you Georgia for joining us. Over on uh, Facebook, I've got Tony, I've got Carol's. Oops, I've lost it already. What am I like? There it is. <laughs> I've got Sally, I've got Sharon, Carol, Iris, Zoe, Heather, Belinda, another Sharon, Maxine, a Betty saying good evening Debbie, Dave and all the crafting family because that's exactly what we are isn't it everybody. Uh, hope you all, um, you put eping well. Keeping. Keeping. Okay. <laughs> Dave knew what you meant, uh, Betty and I'm like what's missing? <laughs> been a long week everybody have you ever had one of those weeks where sometimes or even a day we think I remember that I'm supposed to do something but I can't remember what it is or even do something very very silly like uh, yesterday I needed to ring somebody and I needed to find my phone I was like where's my phone it was in my hand and I was just like, oh my goodness, I need sleep. That's exactly what I thought. Cheryl from Australia. Hi, Cheryl. I've got Jules. I've got Estelle from the States. Harry, Tina from Darlington. Julie, Michelle, Carmen from Malta saying from a sunny day in Malta because we still have hot weather. Carmen, I am very jealous. It is quite chilly down here in Bury St Edmunds at the south of the UK. Uh, I think the weather's finally changed. I've got Wendy saying hello everybody. I do love Debbie's demos. Well thank you. Get yourself a piece of paper and a little pen because or you can actually craft along with me. We have got some top tips to share and I've had some requests so I'm going to be doing that on tonight's show. Um, where am I? I've got Anne saying hello. I saw a beautiful rainbow on my way home from work. Oh I do like a rainbow. Sometimes you can't, you only see a little bit. Um, I think it was last month we were driving from somewhere and it was so vivid. The violet and the blues uh, and of course the yellows. It was amazing. I do like a, a rainbow as well. And Marsha from Arizona saying hi and Kirsty. Shadir from Canada saying good afternoon. Debbie and Dave have not slept yet. Waiting for the show. Then we'll sleep. Oh bless you Shadir. Well thank you very much for joining us live. I have got Annette saying hi. Philippa, Christine. I've got Caroline saying hi. To all you lovely crafters, let's sit back and watch Debbie and Dave. Took me ages to get into my parcel. Je Jessica wrapped it so well. Had to use scissors, but can't wait to use the Christmas bears, dies and pad. Carolyn, you know what the girls are like in the office. They want to make sure it's secure. But I'm glad you've got your order okay. Um, Tina's liking the cards behind me. Well, as you can see, the theme for today is fairies. Uh, and so we've got some members office deals and some back in stocks, which I'm super excited, uh, which are coming in next week of some new enchantment uh, collections come in. I've got Valley join. Hi, I've got Mary, Marion, Chris. Uh, I've got Leslie saying, hi Debbie and Dave, looking forward to your show. I'm suffering at the moment, had dental treatment, so very sore at the moment. <gasps> Leslie. Um, I might make you laugh so hopefully that doesn't hurt too much but I know what you mean dental treatment can be quite tricky uh, last time I went to the dentist they made my cheek numb and it was very strange I kept going like this thinking is it going to come back it, it took ages I've got Cheryl I've got Bella I've got Sarah joined us um, and Tracy said hi Debbie and Dave will you be at the NEC next week please 
unfortunately Tracy I won't and um, finally getting sorted for my house move everybody so unfortunately Tracy on this occasion I can't make the NEC I have got Mary saying hello and Janet saying hello from North Carolina over in YouTube. Jeanette and Paula are on from DM Delights. Wow, there's loads of you on tonight, aren't there? I've got Anna, I have got Cynthia, I have also got Margaret Gaynor, Claire, Vanessa from Texas saying hello everybody. Headed home today, want to say thanks for the like and share prize. The Christmas says are so cute. You are very welcome, Vanessa. I've got Betty saying hi and I've got a uh, the bookshop uh, joined us tonight. So good evening Debbie and all. Eng is it Engie? Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, here watching from South Africa. Well hello, thank you for watching. Stephen says hi. I've got Joe. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I've just read uh, what Zoe has put. She said, OMG, I was looking for my wheelchair and I was sitting in it, lol. Very ditzy. Well, okay, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, Zoe. We all do it. Okay, bless you. I've got Nicola joining us. Hello, Debbie and Devon all watching on the big TV on YouTube in our lodge whilst making the peony samples. Well, enjoy, Nicola. Thank you for joining us. I've got Victoria. I've got Elizabeth saying hi, Debbie and Dave and Crafting Family. Today is my wedding anniversary and I forgot, only knew when my husband was telling the nurse while I was having stitches out. Oops. Well, it depends if he knew, he knows that you didn't know. Okay. Um, maybe you can sneakily make a card, Elizabeth. But well, happy anniversary for you for today. Um, and what are you doing on the show? You should be celebrating with your husband. Uh, I've got Eva from Sweden. Oh, wait, we're way, really international tonight. I've got uh, Sylvia saying, looking forward to the demos. You make them look so easy. They are. Do you know what I mean? I always look at a technique and think, right, okay, let's just make that easier. Card making and scrapbooking and memory books are so fun, but it's always, you need to learn the top tips. So I have a go at making it and then I actually change it a little bit and make it easier for everybody, hopefully to understand. Oh, a cup of tea. That's exactly what I need because it's chilly out there. Cheers, everybody. Okay, where am I? I have got Anne joined us, Marsha has joined us, I have Lois, Jane, I've got Pauline saying good evening Debbie and Dave and beautiful crafters from around the world. This may be my last live as I'm going back into wor working world soon so I'll be watching the catch-ups. Oh well never mind Pauline because we might be doing some in the weekend so maybe you can catch us there but I'm so glad you made it tonight. I've got Janet joined us. I've got Maureen. Uh, I have, I've already said hello to Mary. Michelle said it's my birthday, my first without my mum. Oh, happy birthday, Michelle. And I'm sending loads of prayers, hugs and kisses to you. And I hope I can make you smile a little bit. I know exactly what you're going through. Sandra is saying hello. I've got Kerry and she's saying good morning, Debbie and Dave and crafting friends from Melbourne, Australia. It is 4.40 a.m. Oh my goodness. That is really early, Kerry. And I thank you very much for joining us. That's amazing. Um, oh, bless you. Elizabeth is putting, oh, the show comes first. He's happy with the TV control. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth, for your support and uh, for joining me tonight. I hope I can uh, give you some inspiration um, and that you can actually create something for your husband as well as a surprise. I have got, where was I? I have got Carol joined us. I have also got Linda. And Victoria says it's her birthday tomorrow. Wow, there's loads of you having birthdays. And Chris has put, it's my husband's birthday today, but he took, he has to cook tea, so I won't miss the show. Chris, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. I've got Christina joined us, Tina. Uh, and I have got Joy just joined us. Thanks for sharing always. You're very welcome. And then I think I've got Paulie and Denise and Susan joined us. I think I might have said hello to everybody so far. I know it was very quick, but, you know, otherwise, the amount of you, there's so many of you on the show and... Uh, it's, I want to actually get on and do loads of demonstrations, show you some techniques. Now, remember, if you have any questions or queries, just please uh, put them either on YouTube and also on Facebook. 
we are a worldwide community that we meet every week and it's great okay because obviously we've been going now oh my goodness three years just around lockdown when it happened and we started doing the Thursdays and we've nearly done every Thursday or if I've missed it I've moved it for that particular week um, so for this week I've got to uh, first of all I'll have a drum roll announce the second winner from a last week's giveaway now remember we're now doing two giveaways one doing the show and one after the show so it gives an opportunity for everybody to, to participate in the giveaway so the winner was and i've already forgotten <laughs> oh there you go congratulations patricia halford from last week's winner one of last week's winner however you have still you have two opportunities to win now for this week um we have got a like and share with a difference okay so we're going to put it up so you've got it on your screen but it is as i've just told you i'm going to be moving house or I should say i'm buying a house and there's a lot of work that needs to be doing so my husband and i were talking about what uh, is our favorite diy project uh, and you know what it's been a long time so that is my like and share question to you have you ever done a DIY project what is your favorite DIY project and let me know um, I've been thinking about it and my favorite DIY project is putting gilding flakes on a cheap mirror that I bought I think from home bargains or something and it looked so expensive you know those ones that are like plastic uh, that are white well I put gilding flakes on and it looked amazing so that's my favorite DIY project what about you it could be wallpapering it could be building something I'm just curious what you guys uh, have been up to it could be a decoupage in a table now that's good that's bringing your crafts into your DIY uh, or it could be nothing at all <laughs> But still like and share this page whether you're over on facebook uh please like and share the page um and let's get our crafting community n increasing and over on youtube you can click like if you like the video and this is something that i really would like to know okay uh, i really do appreciate you liking this video either on youtube or also on facebook because that tells me whether you like me to continue doing the videos as well so I do appreciate it and you just hit the button um, I think it's just a little like button well not a little like, like the emoji and you can like it or love it over on Facebook and over in uh, YouTube hopefully you'll give me a thumbs up and don't forget you can also share if you want and subscribe so hopefully that makes sense my goodness there's loads of messages coming through and I can see we've got some more people just joined us Kath has joined us. She said she's really looking forward to the show. And Elaine and Jacqueline. Uh, and Pauline has put, I've been with you since the beginning. Oh, Pauline, that's lovely. That means you still like what I do. <laughs> and I've got Lucille from Paris. She's saying bonjour. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, Tracy's joined us. And Belinda's put, don't do DIY. I get a workman in. It, that's totally fine. But I'm going to be sharing loads of techniques that you can take your crafting into. Um, I suppose do DIY could be upcycling, upcycling certain furnitures, but smaller pieces as well. Um, and Vanessa's put, our house is built in 1900 and there's always a DIY project. Well, we don't know exactly when our house to be has been built. We think it's even earlier, Vanessa, and there's a lot to sort out. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, where was I? Oh, Georgia says, wow, it's my birthday Saturday, and it's lovely to know I share it with loads of crafters. I will be 60. Happy birthday, Georgia, for Saturday. And yes, this is the beauty. You are now part of this crafting community. You can ask any questions, and I'll try to help. It can be anything to do with the show. It could be a product, or even it could be you want to learn a certain technique. Just put it in the feed, and I'll pick it up. Uh, I can see that uh, more messages coming through. I'm trying to read them as so many as possible. Pauline's put, I remember the beginning of these lies. Shira has grown with more crafting members so much fun just like now oh Pauline thank you for that that was two Paulines I read with that um I've got so many messages coming through Paul has joined us as well Christine has put love painting walls after wallpaper and so therapeutic 
you know what? It's been, I was trying to work out, I think it's probably been about six years since I've done any DIY projects as such um, on walls and wall prepping because we have been renting probably for about four years now, five years now. And before that, um, I didn't have time, I'll be honest. So I'm actually looking forward to this. Um, Jules has put, I love tiling. I did my kitchen. I would love to do upcycling. Oh, Jules, I would love to learn how to tile. That's on my list. But what I want to do is I want to design my own tiles. How cool is that? So I've got an idea of designing some uh, unusual tiles designs. And no, I, before anybody else asks, <laughs> I'm not going to do like fairy tiles, but I might do art deco tiles. Um, I've got Kim just joined us. Um, Oh my goodness, there's loads of you coming on. Uh, I've got, oh, Nicola says, I rewired my first house. Well, that's impressive, Nicola. Dave says he might have a job for you. <laughs> I've got Jill saying hi. I've got Dulcie joined us saying hi, Debbie and everybody. I'm a bit late, but I wouldn't, but it wouldn't load on Facebook. I'm here now. Yay. Well, you haven't missed. I've just said anything other than the like and share for this week and I have got an amazing giveaway for this week okay don't forget you get two chances is to share with me uh, what is your favorite DIY project if you haven't done one far enough okay um, but it could be an upcycling item as well and it's because I am luckily well not luckily I can't wait till it happens we've been Dave and I've been waiting for at least two months for the actual sale of our house to be to go through and we finally heard it's going to happen soon which I'm so excited about and when I know for final well when we know finally when we got it I will let everybody know but at this moment we're just nearly there um, and so that was what inspired me for this week's uh, like and share right okay so who we've got joined us I have got uh, Mandy's joined us as well I've got Tony I've got Sam Saying, as a single woman, I did I try any DIY project once. Me too. That's exactly what I'll do. Uh, Lorraine saying hi. And I've got uh, Elizabeth saying, favourite DIY was doing up an old dresser left from my late dad. That sounds lovely. Uh, hi, Beverly. Thank you for joining us. And Alice. Um, <laughs> Mary's put clean up everything after my husband has decorated have also used gold lettering to label coffee jars oh that's a nice idea as well and and I like says put I like making embroidered cushion covers and you you have a patience of a saint I tried embroidery once I mean once okay I used to work years ago when I very very first started working when I was 18 years old I used to work for a company called um Payton and Baldwin's based in Darlington or you might have heard of them as Coates Viola and obviously they did the anchor thread and the chronic thread and the Payton's wool and all that so I got inspired to try cross stitch and embroidery and I did it then but I haven't since that <laughs> I haven't done it since then so um, that I mean I can just imagine the detail that you can have with that but saying that and actually now that I'm, I'm designing fabric I was talking to Stuart Hilliard the other day and he was saying how people like to use designs and embroidered detail in the cushion. So you never know, I might start doing that again. Uh, where am I? I have got Mandy has said over on YouTube, I helped my husband build a beautiful workshop for me to craft in. Oh, that sounds lovely. I can't wait to get my new craft room, everybody. I've been really looking forward to having a craft room with space. At the moment, I have little space here. Uh, also, Mary says, uh, now my favorite DIY is watching someone else do it as I'm nearly 80. Oh, bless you. There's loads of lovely messages coming through. Thank you everybody for joining me tonight. Uh, I have got so many of you join us. Um, where am I? Um, Margaret's put, never done DIY. Hubby is there for that. <laughs> that is true. Dave and I have had, we have an agreement at that. I will look after the gardening because I want to learn to garden and yes, I know everybody's like, what, you haven't started gardening? No, I haven't, okay? My grandfather, bless him, used to tell me all these things and I'm hoping that I will remember uh, what you need to do in the garden. It's a good thing I have loads of gorgeous people out there that I can Google, look how much help you guys told me about the rows that are planted that I hadn't got a clue. 
And so uh, the, the agreement with Dave and I is that I'll look after the garden unless it's something heavy and he needs to help dig out or something like that. And Dave will look after the really heavy DIY, but I'll look after the designing aspect of it. So that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, right. Oh, Edna, you like wallpapering. Well, I am going to be I'm going to be designing my own wallpaper as well. So I'm so excited. And as you can tell, I'm a bit hyper tonight because now that I know that I'm going to get the house very soon, it's now it's now become very, very real. OK, I can see while I've been chatting, loads more have joined us. I've got Savvy Crafter over on YouTube. I've got Terry from, um, it says Terry, is this Sean from Spain? Or have I got confused and it is Terry? Please let me know because I do know that there is a Sean that often joined us from Spain. I've got Elaine joined us, Wendy, Betty has also joined us. She says, used to love wallpapering, but at 84, a bit past my sell-by date. Oh, Betty, you're not past your sell-by date. But you might not want to be going up the ladders uh, to do the wallpaper. And so I get you with that. Um, OK, so <laughs> Michelle's put, sorry, I don't like DIY. But you might like doing some kind of upcycling technique on a mirror or something like that, because I'm going to be showing you some ideas. Oh, Pat says, I make miniature shops and houses. Oh, Pat, you need to send me a picture on how that's done. Right, I'm going off on a tangent, but I can see that loads of people have uh, sent me loads of messages. Uh, Shadi says, I designed my best friend's backsplash for his kitchen in his new home. Oh, I bet that was nice. I'm really looking forward to having a go at different things like that. Okay. Oh, Belinda says it would be nice for a decoration party. That's a really good idea. <laughs> I can invite all my friends over and they can help me decorate whatever needs painting. Uh, I might have to borrow that idea, Belinda. Uh, I've got uh, Andrew joined us. Owen, um, I've got Colette has said, I love gloss painting doors, windows and frames, skirting boards. During lockdown, I made some garden planters out of pallets under instruction of my dad, who was very poorly with cancer, all oh, bless. So now I take over all the DIY that dad used to do. I put a pane of glass in a window and put it in oh Colette that sounds I mean I have never done any of that okay um, but I do want to learn and I'll be honest I don't think I've done any gloss painting normally I've left that to Dave but I'll probably have to try uh, and had us put you are never too old to learn something new I love learning I honestly like change I think that's the only way that you can keep life really exciting, try new things, try new adventures. Life's too short. And so sometimes um, I drive people mad when I say, oh, I'm going to change this, uh, especially in the office. But we're going to change it for the better to make life easier. That's what I say anyway. OK, so before I get distracted with loads, because you sent loads of messages in and honestly, it's brilliant. Thank you ever so much for all the messages and we'll definitely be picking somebody. Um, don't forget, if you just joined us, the like and share, as you can see on the screen there, is what is your favourite DIY project. The the like and share for this week have inspired, this has been inspired because I am very soon going to be signing for my new house very soon as soon as I know and as soon as I have the keys or when it's finally going to happen I'll let everybody know okay so um we're going to start um going through the process because I can see there's loads of new people joined us tonight so thank you ever so much for joining tonight now tonight's show it is called our member special show and we do this once a month at the end of the month and what I do is I pick some collections and we do them as promotions really silly prices some of them because it's a way of me to say thank you for your continued support however I say this every week please do not feel that you need to buy anything because you don't need to just enjoy your crafting community ask any questions you may have or any queries that you have in your crafting journey that you may be going on through um, and I'm, it, that, I'm here and we do this every week so but for the people who want to actually buy some of the products I'm going to show you how the process is done so for example the first item which I love this one this is um, a new stand well it's a not new new it's new this last two years okay I totally forgot I designed this stencil so this is a swirl embossing stencil it's normally 9 99 if you wanted this product I'll lay it flat so you can see it it would normally be let me see if I can get a piece of card so it picks up the design much better there we go 
if you want look at the size of it this stencil at 4 dollars you would put in your comments FB2757 and it's a very straightforward way of using these designs or should say of using this system because as you go as I go through the products you just put your com in the comments the code that you want and then what will happen is the show will then be processed it actually will be processed the new procedure is going to be processed tomorrow and over the weekend so the some invoices depending because obviously you can imagine we get so many uh, invoices will start going out tomorrow and then will go out over the weekend and Monday so if you want to order anything just put the in the comments and then what will happen is you will actually get an invoice by email and it'll have a payment link on. Now you can click on it, you can see what you've ordered, you can delete something, you can add something, or you can actually, if you're not too sure, you can contact the office. But how it works, okay, you need to click on it and it'll, you'll be able to pay by credit card, debit card, and even PayPal. Now, if you first time to using this system, you do need to send us your email address and your postal address so we can work out your postage and, of course, send you your invoice. I think we are still waiting for a couple of people. So if, you ha if you're missing an invoice and you haven't heard from us, okay, uh, please can you actually uh, send your details again. And you, you can contact us on 07553. 457168 our email address is info at debbiemoredesigns.com or you can private messages at facebook at Debbie Moore Designs. I had a blank there I was like what am I reading <laughs> I think I need to take a breath and have a little sip okay so that's how the system works but I say this every week, you don't have to order. This show's just been put together because it's called Special Members. And tonight, as you can see, beautiful Christmas fairies, okay? We've got some amazing deals. We've got dyes, stencils, card kits, USB keys, downloads, and also some extras. And we're going to get started. Now, I'm quickly going to say hello to Susan. I've got Jill. I've got Anne. I've got Carol. I haven't seen you for ages. Carol Houston, welcome. I've got Julie. I've got Julie. That's two Julies at the same time. Julie Sandra Matthews and Julie Hathaway at the same time. And Upcycled Wonders. Is that Teresa? Did I, am I said it right? If I'm not, I'm sorry. I do have a bit of a bad memory I have to be honest I've got Caroline also who used to say I used to do cross stitch but don't now because of bad eyesight I love making decoupage cards now that, you know I do like decoupage I've just been Dave has actually been designing decoupage today uh, oh Teresa said it is thank you that's good at least my memory didn't let me down on that side I have also got Karen and also Jackie just joined us now if I haven't said hello to you please say hello again and I'll try to multitask I've got people over on YouTube thank you everybody and people on Facebook and multitasking because women can and if there's any guys guys can as well I'm just gonna say that sometimes come on we're on it sometimes you can't um, but I have to be very very careful because my husband's in the background multitasking <laughs> and sorting out and putting the mic and the pictures and everything like that so he's multitasking now event oh one other thing I have a message from um, Jessica in the office she has asked for those people that have queries on any outstanding invoices can you please let her know if you still want the items I think you got uh, there is a few people out there that know who I'm on about she's just waiting for you to get back um, and if you have any queries just contact the office but we'll go through that later uh, Lois says well, I love everything fairies I might ha make some of these for Christmas and give to people to send to me <laughs> to send to me lol yes that's a good idea uh, Dulcie says can't wait for my board and core to come to make some notebooks my granddaughter wants to make some for school friends that is a brilliant idea but don't forget you can do that is uh, for those people that are wondering what Dulcie is on about last week's show was I was showing you how to create memory books but don't forget Dulcie you can make the smaller notebooks um, so instead of the hard back you can go with the soft soft back is that right you know what I mean for those people who do memory books you can use a stapler so you can start off with that to get started okay so I think I have uh, said hello uh, and Luke has put it's true I can multitask occasionally <laughs> hi Luke um, right okay oh and Edna said she made some notebooks yesterday great fun oh that's so nice to hear everybody 
it really is lovely to hear that you guys are enjoying my memory books especially because I know they were inspired and the idea was my mum who sadly passed away a few years ago so that is so nice to hear and it really touches my heart to know that you guys are just enjoying creating those memory books because I have had so much fun with them right let's get started um where was I first item right so if I get time, I will do this. This is um, a stencil, but I call them embossing stencils because I love the f effect it embosses. Now it works with any die cut machine and it's not a special stencil. All stencils can be used with your glitters, your paste, your inks, and you can turn it into emboss cards. So if I show you the top camera, look how amazing this design is. And of course, it's going to go with anything. This one is beautiful for your fairies, but also for florals, but anything as a lovely backdrop. Um, and so that is how fabulous this is. And it's only $4.99. So if you want one, pop the comment FB2757. Now, because we have got enchantment and we might need a bit of glitz, we have got some Gal Galaxy Flakes back on um, the show today. So I did demonstrate these a while ago, but when you see the price, $3.95 and they're amazing. Now, we have got four different ones on offer and I picked these because I thought they would go with fairy wings more than anything. So, for example, if you love this blue, look how gorgeous that is. Okay, this is called Uranus Blue. So if you want that, just put blue in the comments next to FB2758. Then we have, it looks like three whites, but they are actually all different. So I'm going to do, this one is an iridescent one. So the Jupiter White. So if you want this Jupiter White, this has touches of pink in. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, touches of pink. It is just a gorgeous colour. So if you want that one, $3.95, really gorgeous for a full, I mean, a good size. And it is 15 grams. And really, you'll use it for shaker cards. You use it for different things. So if you want that one, um, so just put it FB2758 and then put Jupiter. However, if you want, so that's got a hint of pinks in. Okay. And if you want... A little bit more this one is a bit more solid but it has a little when I look at it you've got more like it looks like icicle to me can you see that uh, so this one is called moon white so if you want this one which looks more like icicle put FB 2758 put moon okay and then the last one that I've got is this one here that is more of a solid white Okay, so this is more of a solid white and this is called Mercury. So if you want any of these, we have got them back in stock because I know people have been asking them. So just put FB2758. So we have got the blue, which is gorgeous. And that I do like this one, Jupiter White, which of course has got hints of pink in. And it is literally an iridescent. It looks like my chameleon. And then I have got the... Um, then you've got the one that looks like icicles, which is the moon white. And then the last one, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is going. And then the last one, it is the solid white, which is mercury. Okay, Wendy's put, uh, oh, I think I've missed something that Pauline's put. Uh, oh, Pauline said, issue 66 is fantastic. Thank you, Debbie. I've looked through it three times now and Wendy's put, yes Pauline, issue 66 is so good. I've made enough Christmas cards, but after received my issue, I made so many more and 12 advent cards too. I think I shall have to donate some to my local charity shop. Oh, thank you guys. Now issue 66, we literally have a handful. When I have a handful, we might have like five. Okay. But issue 66, I went a bit crazy, didn't I? I think you've got over £60 worth of goodies for only 14 99 in that magazine. And that had the stencil. It had three new collections in there. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Download collections in there. And then you had 40 pull-out papers for you to enjoy. Plus 
all the inspiration. So thank you for that. Uh, and I'm actually working on the next magazine now, um, issue 67. So as soon as we get the dates when that's released, we'll let you all know and you can pre-order. If you love the issue 66, you are going to adore issue 67. Okay, let's put that to one side. Um, Elizabeth, thank you uh, that you got the invoice, no problem. And I have got, Zoe said, did my first Christmas planner. Happy brother. What does that mean? Or did you do it with your brother? Does that mean, or is that a saying? Sorry, Zoe, but I'm glad that you did your first Christmas organiser. And if you haven't done the Christmas organiser, guys, you really have to have a go because it's so easy. Plus, you get to actually keep it year after year and then you can remember what you gave everybody and did the, the Christmas before because I never remember what I did last week never mind last Christmas uh, okay so the next item that I've got I have got uh, where am I oh yes so the next item is a new die set that we released probably about four years ago but it sold out so quickly and uh, I've decided to get it back in it's coming in next week everybody and it is our fairy rose matches set and card main kit with forever code so normally okay it would be 24.99 the code that we're going to put on is fb2759 and we've got a picture because they forgot to send it down to me i've got the finished samples so you guys can have a look but it will have a look at the the actual set so as you can see that way <laughs> You can see you're going to get the die set. So you've got, so this can be used for Christmas, but because the die itself is the fairy rose, it can be used throughout the year. How cool is that? So you are going to get the crafting sheets, okay, on there. So as you can see, you've got the card fronts as well as the characters you can decoupage, but then you've got the dies, $17.99. So if you love fairies, Go for it because it's first come first serve because when it's sold out, I think, I'm not too sure if I'm going to get this one back again. Okay, so that is $17.99. And if I show you some cards of what you can create, isn't that just beautiful, everybody? So it is using, so this is the die and that's the die and that is the corner. Uh, Victoria says, I have this set. It's amazing and I love it. Oh, um i've got oh do you let us diane's put did you did you let do you let us know when our subscription runs out normally we do diane if you haven't got issue 66 let me know and i'll get jessica to contact you uh oh and zoe's confirmed that she made it for her brother oh brilliant zoe and then uh, Anne says, can I still get issue 66? Yes, Anne, you can, if you want it, just say, yeah, issue 66 in the comments and I'll allocate it to your invoice. Um, I've got Wendy just joined us. Um, what is an issue 66? You're going to have to, well, basically in issue 66, you have got uh, Bella's brand new collection, Let It Snow. Uh, you've got load as a download. Then you've also got in the, the fabulous stencil melody you've got papers that cover uh, christmas bears you've also i'm trying to remember everything you've got in there christmas bears and you've also got in there the uh christmas of wonder then you've also got there um a full template collection as well you get 30 free templates you've got 40 papers so literally for 14.99 you're getting 60 pounds worth of product so hopefully that helps um where am i um so the like and share Wendy to tell me what's your favorite DIY project you ever done uh, so so yes Dan if you have issue 66 that's brilliant okay and then what will happen is hopefully if our system works correctly we automatically send you a little reminder of your last issue so if for example issue 67 is your last issue when the girls ship out issue 67 they will put a leaflet in to remind you but you can always check, you ring the office and check with Jessica and find out how many issues left you have. I've got Philip just joined us. Um, Tina's put, if I order a subscription before the end of the month, will it start from issue 66? If you want issue 66 in it, yes, you can if there's any left, Tina. Okay. Uh, and Pauline's put, I forgot to say to everybody that there's also all kinds of free downloads. I know. 
it is a full I wanted you when you got issue 66 to feel like you had Christmas in your hands that when you got it you were like so excited with all the gifts and prizes and that's the beauty I write the magazine myself I lay it all out Dave takes all the photos you know we do it all in-house we don't put advertising in unless we want to advertise a new technique we're working with somebody in collaboration so the magazine is actually all done by Debbie Moore Designs uh, right okay so oh Jennifer's just joined us as well if I've missed anybody let me know uh, hopefully that answers your question Tony with what's in I've got Helen just joined us saying sorry I'm a bit late just wanted to let you know I made an anniversary card from your peony range for my daughter last week when I called round not only was the card on display in pride of place so was the envelope oh Helen that's amazing I, those the peony collection is so beautiful and the envelopes are really one of the nicest envelopes you've got you know because you know what I do I always give you matching envelopes with you going with the download which I'll be explaining when we come through and talk about the different uh, we're going to go through a couple of collections uh, right I've got Dee's just made it saying uh, I haven't made one yet but I want to make a notebook for my bookcase a miniature fairy doors with a secret room behind <gasps> that sounds lovely Dee it really does um, okay I think um, oh Teresa's put my favorite DIY is anything from flat pack furniture to having a go at making from scratch using any kind of wood that's amazing right okay so going back to here I was showing you this uh, collection so you are going to get this gorgeous fairy and you can see yes this is a background that's Christmas but the fairy itself is not Christmas uh, as in you can use although she's got some on her dress you can use it throughout the year for winter as well and you can see some of the cards that you can create they're just gorgeous and I just love because you're going to get that die and you're going to get this corner die we'll put the actual uh, picture of it up again so FB2759 everybody it is there you go so you can see that you are going to get 24 crafting sheets of forever code and also you are going to get one two three four five dies for you to use again and again so if you want it please put it um just simply just put the code in it'll be allocated to you pauline's put debbie yes it was like a gift that keeps on giving thus me looking through it three times well i am glad that you're enjoying it and i can see elizabeth says she's still stroking her issue <laughs> oh that is so funny I love that Elizabeth okay so we're moving on uh, so we actually have a back issue on today's show so the back issue that I have everybody is of course fairies you might already have it but you might not but these dies are coming in next week so we're now going to put these back in stock so we actually have because this you know that the current magazines that you have come with a stencil this magazine came with these dies so issue 55 um, normally was or is 9.99 so we've done it as 7.99 now if you are, um, are wanting it as a digital the digital is coming up in a second but just to show you a little bit of what you're going to get so you can see you've got information oh there's that peony delight so this is not peony dreams there's two different peonies this is peony delight which is so beautiful which has this new color palette of pinks and blues i love it and then as you can see loads of inspiration and then as i go to the middle you have fairies look at the papers you are getting uh basically 40 pull out papers so I'm going to go very quickly so you can see all the images that you're going to get so if you want this FB2760 7.99 and you get a set of dies everybody and you're going to get a free full download collection worth normally 17.99 so for 7.99 you're getting 40 pounds worth of products to enjoy so just put FB2760 and it'll be allocated to you Anna says I have this issue and love it it is brilliant um, Tina's put yes just order my subscription now waiting patiently to come no problem uh, and then as I'm going through it I've got um, more inspiration I uh, you can see loads of different ideas 
This is telling you what you can create with the dye to create beautiful flowers and everything like that. As I said, first come, first serve. Uh, and then um, I'm just making sure I had the code there. So this is the free collection that you get. Absolutely lovely. It's called Winter Boutique, everybody. And I'm putting my hand over the code. You get a full collection. This is it here. And you're going to be able to create loads of gorgeous cards. And there's other giveaways as well. So this is a back issue that we actually have some more dies coming in. So if you want one, allocate it, whether on YouTube or Facebook, put FB2760. Now, this is for the physical item. If you are wanting it as a download, we're doing that as well. The only difference is, okay, so that's FB2761 okay you won't get the dies however you will get all the papers so the price is the same but the difference is you won't get the dies but you'll get access to the papers that you can use again and again where somebody if they're just buying the magazine will only get the physical papers they won't be able to print them off again so if you want it as a digital just put fb2761 Oh my goodness, I can see more people have just joined us. Thank you, everybody. Hi, Carol. Thank you for joining us. Okay, and if I haven't said hello to anybody, say hello again. Um, I've got hello, Debbie and Deb and all crafters. Hope it's been nice and sunny where you are. Uh, I'm busy making Christmas cards. Well, I'm actually busy making or designing a non-Christmas collection at the moment. So that is FB2761, everybody. Now... I have a special new thing that we are doing only on our members events. Susan's loving the fairies. Thank you, everybody. No problem if anybody wants to order um, this collection, either digital or simply as a physical magazine. So the next item that we have, everybody, is FB2761. Sorry, 62. Give you the right one. What's so exciting is this is we've actually had some requests to um, how to use digital collections. So what we've decided to do is that every month we're going to pick a collection that we're going to give away almost for nothing. So you are going to get the Nativity digital download full collection for five ninety nine instead of fourteen ninety nine. So we're going to have a look at it. Okay. So you are going to be able to create, I mean, I love nativity. I'm a born again Christian and as a nativity collection, this was one of them that I designed really quite early. And you can see how you can create some amazing creations and have some wow factors cards. So we're going to bring up the collection because the question I have had is people don't understand how to use it. So what I thought I'd do is show you just a little bit more detail of what to do. Now, this is a digital download. So when you down, get the download, you'll be able to click on it and you'll get what you see. OK, and I'm just going to go through the procedure and it's a click and print system. It works with any computer in the world as long as your computer is not older than 10 years. And to be fair, if it is older than 10 years, contact the office because sometimes it works with it anyway. But we just say that just to cover ourselves. Uh, and this nativity range is just so beautiful. And you'll know somebody that you'll want to send a card to. So if you click on, for example, the design sheets, there we go. And this is how we lay all our collections out. Uh, and then if you click onto, for example, the first one, and then click on that, look at that. So you have got beautiful designs. You have got, oh, Bethlehem, the beginning of the story and you have got some religious and also generic quotes for you to actually use now for brand new digital crafters especially if you've not used a collection below before because this is a question people were asking me they didn't know how to print so if you look at the top there you go top right hand side click on the printer icon look what comes up at the moment it looks very small it's because it's not been you need to have it fit to page now everybody can do this i've got loads of messages saying they love the nativity uh it's lois is but so classic and stunning stunning tina's put i don't know how anybody cannot like nativity whether they're religious totally agree and jackie says i brought this the very first time and it's wonderful i love nativity me too and the thing about it is there's so much on here everybody 
and this is why we're going to start teaching you as we go what you can get out of our collections so if you wanted to make this smaller now you can do this with anything boxes sheets of paper anything if you go to settings now every one of you that has a printer connected can do this you find where it says scale click on it and it will tell you give you an option to change the sizes I mean you've got so many hundreds of printable elements look this is it's got 40 on there you can change it to 60 it will change the size and it'll make it bigger or smaller especially if you want to make smaller cards I know our American market always asks me to do smaller well you don't have to worry now because now you can make it whatever size you want now we're going to cancel this now the other thing to remember is when you're using this system you have to close the X at the top that will bring you back to the menu okay and then you click on the, we go to the next page and then I'd like you to click in the middle top one so we click on that one there yes what will come up there's the three kings how gorgeous is that beautiful imagery ready for you to do Tracy puts it reminds me of Christmas you and me both okay Joy says I love the new digital collection format it looks like you can adjust the sizes there as well I've just shown you Betty says is this the same as the CD-ROM that I have yes Betty it is so if you've already bought the CD-ROM years ago when I brought this out it's the same collection this is the same one this is what we started to do to introduce you to the to basically digital download collections which is much bigger than just downloading a card kit is this the only one so far in this digital format no joy every collection is available out there as a as a digital format this is why we bring it to you and I've actually got another collection the fairies on later today and Tracy says I have an a3 printer and make some big nice cars oh brilliant so we're gonna click on here on the X and we're gonna jump over to the next page okay and obviously you've got Mary and Joseph going from Bethlehem on a donkey next page you got the shepherds and this is the traditional one so if you click on the last one and then you can see Mary and the nativity scene so there are the design sheets now how we do the design sheets everybody is so you just print this off and choose the papers but if you go to the papers okay this can work with any of your crafty stash now we're just gonna open the first one because I love this one it is just a beautiful paper okay now remember you can print it off whatever size you want okay so this will print off as you see now we close this down we're just going to jump over to all the papers go to the next page and the next and the next oh click on the blue one I love this for scrapbooking how cool is that paper everybody so I am just showing you a snapshot of what you get on the collections as a collection for $5.99 everybody think of what you're getting and I haven't even showed you half of it we're going to keep on going more pages more pages more pages oh and then we're going to go to envelopes so you've got decoupage on there but then you've got matching envelopes we're going to go to the c6 envelopes we've got a box envelope in there so we just choose say for example yeah any of those the envelopes done for you how beautiful is that so if you are actually making cards for charity if you are making uh for yourself to sell having a matching envelope is going to be amazing I can't remember I'm so sorry somebody said they made a matching peony card and envelope for their daughter and she loved it she displayed the envelope as such and this is why we always put the envelopes on but as well as that if you come out of here and go into inserts we always put matching inserts so click on the C six ends or well, any of those uh, click on that one and then what will come up is that option now at the moment you can see there's a blue square now this may come up okay it might not on your system but if it does come up it means that you can type on it so Dave's gonna type to Bob <laughs> who's Bob <laughs> have a great Christmas <laughs> I don't know a Bob out there so there you go um, okay so hopefully I've got questions coming through um, oh Cheryl's singing hymns as it's been shown that's good Barbara says I have a nativity it's beautiful and so is Denise I've got Violet just joined us as well uh, Elizabeth says we have school children in, in at Christmas and these are printed and will be great to teach them about nativity definitely um, oh and Jill says my husband's name is Bob Law well there you go and I don't know who Joanne is either <laughs> so anyway we cancel this 
Now look, everybody, you've got dimensional cards on here. You've got bags and boxes. Let's just jump to bags and boxes because they're just amazing. I love pillar boxes because I used to buy pillar boxes. And we just click on any of those, okay? How amazing is that pillar box? You've got the top and you've got the bottom. But here's a top tip, everybody. If you didn't want that amazing scene on the pillar box, scroll down, just print the second one twice and then you've got that box as it is. How amazing is that? Now remember, if you go to print, okay, well I used to have to buy pillar boxes, it used to cost me five to, depending on the size of the boxes, the most I spent was about £6.50. But if you go to scale, if you make jewellery, okay, or if you want a small gift, let's make it at 30%. Look how small you can go, okay? So, really have a look at the collections there's so much on here so this is fb2762 this is a special promotion that we're going to be doing i mean you have also got extras in here you've got dimensional cards so you've got the original you've got project videos so this has videos you've got how to make a screen card how to do a grotto card a twisted diesel and backgrounds so we're not going to run it okay but you've got videos on here but can we just quickly go to um, the extras again click on the extras you and click on the digi stamps now if anybody works for so not works or go does Sunday school okay or girl guides or scouts or anything like that these are the line drawings you can make your own coloring books for Christmas you know these are really handy to use and they're brilliant so for $5.99 there's hundreds upon hundreds of images for you to enjoy. Never mind the dimensional cards. Okay, we click on there one second. You have got grotto cards. You've also got the mini card. Oh, that's a good one for schools. So click on the mini cards and the envelopes. So these are fabulous, everybody. If you click on one of them, these create, you just cut them in three and fold them. So these create quick cards that you can use for schools, where you can use them for anything, or you can make a pack of cards to sell if that's what you do. Uh, and so this is a collection that you're going to love. So hopefully that answers the question. I mean, I haven't gone through everything, because, but it's just to show you what you're going to get. You're going to get hundreds upon hundreds of printable elements that you can create, and that's FB2762. So that was the special offer, and continuing the special offer for October, our member's gift is on fairies. So we are going to bring up FB2763. All right, everybody. This is five ninety nine. It comes with a forever code, showing you some images. Okay, so this is we've got decoupage, gorgeous new fairies for you to enjoy. So this is our October members five ninety nine. Normally, this kit will cost you seventeen ninety nine. And so, for you wonderful crafters out there, we've given it as a members offer for anybody that supports us. Uh, in our ongoing basically creativity journey it is 5 99 and this is what these members events for are we want to celebrate you every month so we are giving you this amazing kit for you to enjoy these are tabs so you can actually write in okay but then you actually have um, bows now your papers are edge to edge we've just printed this off so you can see that some of the designs that you're going to get okay i'm going to show you some finished samples that is lovely i've got that card somewhere I'm done with that paper look at that one how gorgeous is that okay so you have got i'll show you some more card samples in a second if you want this okay um fb2763 and you can actually enjoy this you're going to get 24 crafting sheets um so if you want it go for it however i do know there's digital people out there who prefer to get the digital rather than the physical card kit so that is fb2764 and yes we have gone silly on the price 3.99 for those crafting sheets um i can see it's gone crazy i've got barbie just joined us valerie said hi debbie can you change the size of the font when writing a verse you should be able to normally i press Control e valerie but dave's just said not in chrome 
you need to open the file in Acrobat and you'll be able to do it. If you still have issues, uh, please private message me and we'll get you sorted. Carolyn, Cal okay, sorry, Carolyn, has said pillar boxes are great. Use them for brownies and rainbow presents, 30 and all, from Christmas bears and penguins. Also use digital pictures as colouring books for them too. Exactly. That's the beauty about these collections. So this is a digital. You're going to get 24 crafting sheets for $3.99. So if you want it, go for it, everybody. Dawn's just joined us a bit late. Yes, no problem. Um, you might have to go and catch up. We are just going through the promotions. You know, everybody, at the end of the day, to be able to get all these good and every just sheet is different okay so you've got different designs gorgeous fairies and talking of fairies we've actually put the compendium on which i don't know what i've done with it bear with me i had a tidy desk i always do this don't i oh there it is so what i've got is the compendium now this is available as a usb key everybody so you've got the usb key um and it's a double so you're going to get two collections. So normally it will be $35.98 for over 2,250 printable elements. And I'm just going to show you some cards. It is also available as a digital coming up. Okay. So the digital, if you want to know the price for the double compendium, it is, where am I? Is FB2766. And that is $14.99 instead of $29.98. You're going to be able to do the boxes. You're going to be able to, oh my goodness, create your own slide. I think I need to sort that out, but create your own slider cards. There you go. So you've got your slider cards, beautiful colorways, a whole range of fairies for you to enjoy. Obviously, that lovely uh, Christmas rose, she's in there as well. Pillar boxes. So if you want the physical USB key, we're going to look for it in a second. Okay, look at the pillar boxes. Aren't uh, they lovely? So you can have them in different colours. You've got pillar boxes. You can print them on different sizes on there. You, as I said, you have got so much on there for you to enjoy. Beautiful sentiments. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Not this year, thank you. I don't want a white Christmas. I do think it looks nice, but sometimes it can get really cold. So, and you can do shape cards. I'm, that was one another question I had. So I'm gonna. That's one of the other demos I'm going to do. So, very quickly, we're going to go to that USB key, which is FB two seven six five. Now, this is how it looks. Now, remember, it's available as a physical USB key or a download. So whichever one you go for, the content will be the same. So you click in there to continue and you can see you've got separated. You've got the paper crafting and the gifts and boxes. So we're just going to go to the gifts and boxes first to show you what you're going to get on there. You're going to get boxes, grotto cards, candle toppers, tags, mini bags, calendar sheets, cube boxes, pyramid, mini bags, bottle bags, projects as well. If you click in the projects, it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions so you can see how everything's created. If you go to the next page, so it's very easy to have. So look, the wine bottles are amazing. The candle toppers are great as well. So if you keep on going um, to, let's have a look at the grotto cards. So you've got the grotto cards. There is, um, if you click on one there, so everything's done for you to be able to create a grotto. You've got step-by-step -step instructions that come into it, okay, everybody? So I'm going to be doing a grotto, I think maybe next week, uh, to show you how that's done. But there is a video on YouTube on how to put the grotto together if you want more information than the USB key. If you click on the X at the top, okay, we're actually going to go back to the other part and have a look at the paper crafting one. Oops, not nativity. There we go. So you click on the paper crafting one, which is the main one, which, as you can see, is got from the design sheets all the way to the projects and the ideas. You've got decoupage, embellishment scenes, the original line drawing, and so on, and the envelopes. We'll click on design sheet straight away. And then choose, just say, for example, the bottom red. And you can see how fabulous it is. There's so much on here. So remember, if you want the USB key, it's $17.99 instead of $35.98. You're getting two. If you come out of here and go into character sheets for me, um, what I want to do is people have been asking me how to do shape cards. So if you click on one, okay, 
you can see you have got different characters. So, I don't know if you saw the samples. So, if we come back, we're going to do a quick demo. We're going to do a couple of demos now, actually. So, this is the USB key, FB2765, everybody. But, if you want the actual download, which is FB2766, it is uh, only $14.99. Same content, the only difference is you'll get a link. So I'm going to show you now how to create, uh, so I've printed off a character sheet. And um, this is quite sweet because you can create almost like, these are called shape cards and they're using those. They stand up, you can make them into decorations as well. Uh, or if you have any younger children, they could create a whole range of uh, fabulous character cards, which are brilliant to do. So this is one of the questions that people, that um, I think it was, ooh, I think it might have been Carol that I think sent a message in. Now, sorry, I've lost my demo. Just talk amongst yourself. How can I lose my demo? It was here before I started. Um, I can see more of you have just joined. Let me just see what I've done. Oh, oh there it is. So I want to show you how easy it is. It is literally so easy. Now this can be done with any shape card or any shape. It could be a Christmas tree, it could be a snowman, it can be anything. Print it off, back it onto card if you can't print onto um print directly onto card and then the other thing that you would do is you would just draw around it so I'm doing it in pen you would do it obviously in pencil so I'm drawing around this and this is going to give me the shape of the card now these are great ideas for Christmas or your Christmas table uh, if you wanted to create gift tags as well that are shaped it can be done with any shape whatsoever and it doesn't have to be just for Christmas. So as you can see, I'm going round it. So there is my shape. Um, Zoe says you can get magnet paper and make fr fridge magnets. Of course you can. I've got Eileen just joined us. I think some glitter would look great on the fairies. Can you let me know if your glitters are environmentally friendly? Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't do a lot of glitter. Uh, at the moment, I only mainly do, there's only a couple of the main colours that I do. Um, but if you mean, that are there, um, I actually don't know. That's a very good question. I'll have to look into that. Um, there might be, but I'll have to check with a supplier. Uh, Tracy says, purchased the memory book collection uh, last week and can't get them to print below 100% as they missed a bit of on one edge when I print them. Am I doing something wrong? Yes, Tracy. So what you need to do is if you're printing it as it is, you should put fit to page. Okay. And then, then what you then need to do is then scale it down. Once you've done that, then you should be able to print it. No problem. If you still have any issues, Tracy, can you please private message me? Um, I'm cutting this and realize I haven't got my glasses on. Uh, please private message me and we'll get you sorted. But as you can see, we have changed all sizes. It doesn't have to be a topper. It doesn't have to be a box. It can be that technique where you change the size works with anything. Uh, Karen says, thank Jessica for me. My orders arrived yesterday. Well packed as always today. I can play. Well, that is brilliant. Uh, Jessica will actually be watching this show live tomorrow in the office. So if anybody has any questions or queries, please let me know and um, or let her know. Just put them in the feed and she'll pick them up tomorrow. So as I'm talking, I'm just going around them. Now, if I've mess, missed any queries, please let me know. The other sample that I want to show you, or I should say demo, if I have time, there's actually two more. So I want to do a quick demo on how to do a pop-up character so very quickly I'm going round here as you can see and then I'm going to show you how to do shape cards let's just move all that out of the way and then we're done now remember this technique can be done with any shape whatsoever I've just chosen her and then literally put this here and then what you do is about I would say I don't even know what that is let me use my, Dave says about an inch, 
there isn't a right or wrong way but basically what you need to do is score it so I am just going to make sure it's straight okay and I'm using my paper trimmer channel as a guide and simply score along there so this creates a tab everybody okay so you can see it creates a tab can you see that and then all you do is you get your glue or you can use your double sided tape um, I tend to use glue because I like the wiggle room but of course you can use anything you want so you just wiggle it into place and then it will stand like that now if you want it to be completely straight all you need to do on the back is cut that at a straight line because can you imagine if you had a circle so if you cut that at a straight line it will stand in that direction and that's how it will actually work so that's a shape card technique uh, and then what I want to do is show you um, a couple more items and then we're going to do the acetate technique oh Tina sent me a message saying thank you for my mug and coaster you are very welcome so now also we've actually had some questions about printing so we have got two codes so I want to show you some cards so can you see that this is a glossy finish everybody this is my majestic gloss so if you want a vibrant color you need to print on a coated paper so the coated paper so we've got our majestic gloss on 25 sheets for 4.99 and that will give you that finish okay so we've had a question about what is the difference about matte and also um glossy so can you see this one this is a matte finish so this was the satin paper that i had on last week so that's how you know the difference it's the actual shine you can see and for example is that one yes so you can see that this is quite glossy so that's glossy as well so if anybody um wants the paper it's fb2767 we'll add it add it to your um list if you would like it and also people have been asking when my tissue paper is coming back in stock so we have the tissue paper and the tissue paper is great because you can put any image bella did this i don't know if you remember she actually printed and colored in on the tissue okay and she showed you how you can actually color in on pencils however if you just want to use a image that you can so any image it could be a photo it could be anything from any of the collections the tissue paper is now back in stock and you're going to get 20 large sheets that will enable you to create about i would say about 60 candles maybe even more for 2.99 so that's now back into stock fb2768 and as always we are now doing an introduction to digital crafting uh so we have the last item before i do this next demo is fb2769 everybody okay and it's our build a scene decoupage and topper kit download so we'll put the image on so if you want look at it you are getting her isn't she beautiful and just to show you some cards so as you can see you've got scenes that are plain and then you can actually fussy cut this you can fussy cut her out and because it's very straightforward to go around it and create these lovely characters uh, and what I want to do is we're going to finish off um, well we're going to well we've got a couple of more demos that I want to quickly show you and if you have any questions let me know so uh, yes Julie you can add two packs of glossy no problem so this is FB2769 you're going to get 24 crafting sheets for 3 dollars and you're going to be able to create cards like this how gorgeous is that everybody um, so this is a good way to introduce, introduce you to paper crafting uh, digitally now this is what i want to show you but we're going to do use the other character this is a mashup you all know how i love mashup so this is um 
a card that is using, if we bring up the picture, FB2759, please. FB2759, which is the Fairy Rose collection. And that was a die and pad. There you go, you can see it. And that is um, for $17.99 instead of $24.99. And you can see at the bottom this shape. Okay, and then what I've done is I've used papers from um, the USB key. And look at this. So this creates, the idea is using the acetate to make it stand. So I want to show you how to do that. Okay, but also I love mashups. So this is creating a 3D effect but then it will go completely flat in an envelope really very easy to do everybody and you can all enjoy it and believe it or not the most important piece of um, material is acetate so I know we stock acetate if you haven't got any okay I think it's I don't know if it's $3.99 or $4.99 but it's one of those uh, on the website for so many sheets and I'm going to show you how to put this together when I find out. Ah, because I've done it so far, we're going to put this together. And put, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, there's my acetate. I'm going to explain what the top tips are. And if I do have more time, I even have another uh, demo to do. So what I've got here is I have already got, it's just a square card that I put diagonal across like so. And as you can see, let me move all these bits away. I'm already prepped, everybody. So by putting the diagonal across, I printed off some paper. I've used the glossy, which is why it's a bit shiny because I love coated paper. Uh, so, but then I have die cut my character, and out of the match it set, I've die, I've cut out my topper, and I've already got everything ready. So this is going to sit in here already, and it's going to stand. But I've also cut out a ribbon strip from the, um, that's going to go across. I've actually cut out a ribbon strip from the design sheet off the USB key. Oh, you're getting the card making kit. And what I'm doing, everybody, I've got foam pads on because I knew time would run away. I don't know where time goes. I should really do a full day one time. I think you'd like that, wouldn't you? A full crafting day or something. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the foam pad tops off using my pricking tool and piercing tool. And this, if you haven't got one of these, I'd recommend you get one because look how easy it is to take it off. You can do a few at a time. And then, oops, simply just take them all off. And I tend to, I love foam pads. Silicon glue, people ask me why don't I do use silicon glue? Um, how would I describe it? Basically, I'm the most impatient crafter you will ever meet. Okay, seriously. I like things now. I like things. My life is a little bit hectic. So I like things that dry very quick. And foam pads is just easy and quick. So that's now stuck on there. Now, because the reason why I needed foam pads is because this is an easel card and you need something to make it stand. Can you see that everybody? I can see all your messages. You all want to do a Debbie Moore craft day. I will add it to my list. That's for sure. And I'll give you loads of notice so you know what's coming up. Um, that would be nice for Christmas, wouldn't it? Doing something like that in November or beginning of December before everybody gets busy. I will have a look at my diary, everybody, and see about doing the full day. So, um... What I've then got done I've, is I put foam pads on here. So I'm getting my basics ready so we all know what we're doing. So what you need to do is also make sure you don't go too far down because you need to make sure it's there, okay? And so what I'm doing exactly the same using my foam pad uh, and pricking tool. So as I said, I don't use silicon glue because <laughs> you have to wait for about an hour to make it dry, to let it dry, where foam pads... It's very instant, isn't it? Do I need any more foam pads? I think I need another one there. I obviously wasn't paying that much attention to, <laughs> to getting it all sorted out. So let me get a large foam pad. I do like my large foam pads. I hope I've got some left. I did. Where's it gone? Oh, there we are. 
So I think I need another one there. And then we'll just put that, just want one there, just on that bit, just to balance. Now what this does, everybody, I could put another couple of there, but what that does, it gives you an even balance. So this is just going to move over here and just put that like so up. So I've got all on that and this is now ready. Can you see that? So then the next thing I want to have my have a magical day. I do like these sentiments. Who doesn't? Now, can you see that this has already got foam pads on? This isn't. So the top tip is it's only to put one foam pad there and it's a big enough. So I'm going to have that there. And then what I'm doing is using some glue. Tina's put, I've got silicone glue, but I don't use it very often. See, not everybody does. Okay, I tend to use, like for example, on here, I'll put some glue on here. Okay, and I'm putting some glue on here. So then that means I can wiggle it into place to make sure it's straight. There you go. Do you know what I mean? And I know that is that is dried within a minute. Karen says, hi, Debbie and Devin, everybody. Sorry I'm late. We'll have to watch and catch up. Oh, yes, you will, Karen, because I've left. There's loads of treats in stores for you tonight. Um, okay, so I've shown you how that's created. Now, I've got my foam pad there because what I want to do is I haven't decided whether I want to use her from the match it set. Oh, I think I will. Or I could actually use another character but I have actually decided to use her and then what I want is I've cut I want it to look like so this is how it's going to be but what I want to do is I want to look to look like this foliage coming down here so I've cut out some of these leaves that are going to stick like so and then I have got also some roses because if you going for the die cut kit you get these lovely little tiny roses as well so I want to have that trips and down there and I've also die cut one of the corners that's going to go on there as well so I'll leave that for now so let's take this foam pads off where's it gone prick and tall uh, Vanessa says my silicon glue, glue always dries up in the tube yes so I tend to not use it but everybody's different there isn't a right or wrong way everybody there is just simply your way so I am going to put that just like that then I'm going to add that one there then I want to add this one on where's the other one that's going to go on there so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and I'm just creating almost like a step to this bit here so this is going to go on that that is for my top corner up here I will show you the card when it's done I'm just showing you how I've made the step because and then I'm going to have her that that one there because she is going to when I say she my character there she is is going to be stood here like so and she'll go completely flat when I'm not using her okay so what you need is like on here you need an L that's simply what you need so you get your acetate which <laughs> is was here a minute ago oh there it is <laughs> so all I'm going to do put my glasses on oh Jennifer said it's frozen is it just me I hope not is everybody okay um let me know so then what you need everybody is you need to make sure you fold it over can you see I am folding it over creating a line so that's going to go there this is going to create there and then it'll go completely flat so you can can you see you could cut round here but for quickness I am not right people are saying they're okay there that's good so I am just putting some glue on. You know how much I like this glue. So I'm just wiggling it all into place like so. There we go. Now, when you put this down, two things you have to remember. Yes, you can have some acetate, Zoe, no problem. I think it's 10 cheap pack, um, but I'll double check. 
and I'll add it to your to your actual list. Um, Chris says mine has been freezing on and off all evening. It could be the weather because it's still quite windy out there. So when you actually stick it onto where you want to put it, everybody, you need to make sure that you can actually fold it. You do not want this this way, can you see, and chop a head off. So make sure you've got it in place. So what I tend to do is I tend to put the glue on, line it up. Remember, because you've got the glue, you've got the wiggle room. Position it where you want it. So then it stands up on there, like so. Hold it in place. And she looks like she's floating. Okay. And then I need a little bit more glue on the end. You need to make sure you put it on the end. So when you open it up, there you go. It needs to have glue right up to the edge. So then it will pop up properly. Can you see? And stand up. So that is that one that is still drying. So if I show you the other one, which I had a minute ago. So that is from that set. How gorgeous is that? And then it goes completely flat into an envelope. So remember, you can create this with any shape card. This was... And you've got the same thing with that one. Okay. They lean on it and that's fine. If you don't want it to lean, bring it forward and then it, it floats. Um, I am glad you, I've got all these messages coming through. I've just realised where the time is. I won't have time to do my next demo, everybody. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just recap on a couple of things. Um, Tracy's got, I'll have to do, I'll have to have a go at that. Yes, you definitely will. Acetate, see, I've lost it already. You know, the acetate is just an amazing thing to have because the other thing, just very quickly, here, you could have, let's have it on here. If you cut a strip, can you see the acetate? Let me just cut a strip, right? Have you ever seen, like, you could have things hanging. All you need to do is fold it. And can you see, I've, I've folded it as an angle. So therefore, you could have something hanging that way. Stick that to the back. Okay, you could even cover the back. It doesn't have to be. Um, acetate is a very good addition, especially at Christmas or for something special, to add dimension, something floating, and it's really, look at that, you can just about see that moving. It gives you that wobble effect as well. Pauline's loving the idea of a stopper for a, a ribbon strip. It's so easy to do, everybody. You can mat, mat it with gold and silver if you want it. Uh, I just wanted you to inspire you to have a go at something different, and thank you. Uh, for the instructions. Oh, Carol's Pop Brill Card, will you put a tutorial instruction on your website, please? Would love to have a go at this one. I will try, Carol, okay? But what you need to do is remember today's date because our videos are always... Now, if you ever miss any of our lives, you can go to our inspiration hub at debbiemoredesigns.com and see all the videos. And what we're starting to do is I'm starting to write... We've only just started this, what demonstrations we've done during the show. So you can then watch this back. So if you want to know how to do this technique in a month's time, you can go to our website and find the live. Because obviously at the moment, still not dry, I need to hold that. By the way, your three-in-one glue will dry a little bit slower on acetate. It needs to bond. Okay, so you can see. And obviously I would trim this down a little bit to the shape. Um, and it says going upstairs after the show to have a go at this card. Brilliant idea. Oh, that's brilliant. So just to recap, um, so if you liked, by the way, the, we'll put that last item on, which is FB2769. So, I mean, she's beautiful. So we have her as a download on promotion. So if you want her, that is FB2769 for $3.99 for 24 crafting sheets. You get all those card fronts at the back and look what you can create. So that also, by the way, has got, uh, we've actually added acetate to give shape and she sat on some acetate as well. Uh, Debbie, can I ask if there's an envelope for the advent calendar cards? Is there an envelope? Karen, you can do any 
square envelope that you have you will it will fit an advent calendar card but I will tell you a secret there is a new collection coming out in two weeks time that has loads of advent items on that's all I'm going to say <laughs> Uh, so make sure you watch the show in a couple of weeks time okay so everybody let's recap so if you're brand new to our system welcome to my crafting family I hope I've inspired you a little bit and made you smile a little bit as well now if you want to order any of the items of course you can but if you don't you don't have to you don't have to just enjoy the community and getting together every week uh, and also enjoy the freebies because you, everybody gets a present on a Thursday don't we everybody so going back to the show if you want to order simply put the comment FB2769 as you say the code into your comment and it'll be allocated to you the invoicing will be starting to process tomorrow and we'll go through the weekend and Monday you'll get a email with a payment link where you can click on it you can click on it and pay by PayPal, credit card and debit card. If you have any queries from it, just contact the office. You can give us a ring and pay over the phone if you wanted to on 07553 457 168. Now, if anybody in the US or even Canada or around the world has any queries, please contact us via either info at Debbie Moore Designs or at Facebook at Debbie Moore Designs and we can even call you. So if you have any queries, we'll contact you. Obviously, depending on the time zone it is uh, uh the office the well the girls in the office work from uh, 9 30 to 4 30. so hopefully that has given you all the teal uh, is it teal t's t and c's. t's and c's i never know which one i'm saying uh i can see loads of messages are coming through that you're enjoying it don't go away because i'm giving you all a present um oh talking of presents let's uh drum roll please the winner that was a really loud drum Dave you can tell he's really excited about getting our new house and if you didn't know Dave actually has a full drum set that has been in storage for four years and he can't wait to get his drum set out uh, anyway the winner for the like and share the first winner because we picked two uh, is Zoe Plater Zoe congratulations hopefully I've said your name correctly uh, please make sure you private message me your um, full details so we can get a gift out to you and that will go out next week I think or the week after when the new stock comes in uh, and also um, the other thing to remember is when it comes to prizes if you're still waiting for a prize please let me know I do know we have some people that haven't sent their details in so we'd like you to confirm your address because we have quite a few people that have the same name on our system uh, and so I think a few years ago we once sent it uh, to the wrong person and so since then we've now asked everybody to clarify their address um, I've got loads of messages coming through I'm sorry I haven't been able to read it but if there's any queries that I haven't sorted Jessica will be on it tomorrow also oh, a gift for everybody don't forget um, the treasure hunt that starts tomorrow if you're brand new we started this uh, three years ago during lockdown it was inspired by my grandfather who I lost a few years ago who was like my father and he used to do treasure hunts for me so when lockdown happened we when I say we I wanted to do something to get everybody crafting and sharing on the love and that's how the treasure hunt started now the treasure hunt is exactly what it says you have to hunt for your treasure now it's a weekend project I'm not going to tell it tell you what it is I I kind of try to mix it all up so you get nice surprises now these are only available for four weeks so if you didn't get last week's you definitely need to watch last week's show find the codes now remember all the shows now are going to as well as listed on Facebook and YouTube they're also on our website so you can never miss a show now the other thing is with the actual treasure hunts they're just available for four weeks so make sure you download it before the code expires now this week's code very easy to remember uh, is FB fairies and also you need to remember the date the 26th of October because what will happen is tomorrow about midday I will put up a uh, the weekend project for you it will have a picture but I'm not going to tell you what it is you have to hunt for it and the way you remember it is that you're all automatically a member of my crafting community even if you just joined us today so that means you need to nip over to my website which is debbiemoredesigns.com go into products 
and then go into the printable downloads section and find the members section. There'll be loads of other ones in there. Everything has a price. However, when you find the one for this week, which is the 26th of October, it'll have, it'll have the date next to it. It'll say 26th of October live show. Click on that, pop that in your basket. And then on the bottom left hand side, there is a discount code. Simply put that code into your discount basket or section, I should say, and it will go free and you will be able to download it and enjoy it. There is only one little catch. Please make something with it. Make something for charity, make something for a key worker, for your neighbour, saying that you're thinking about, about them and just pass on the love. Enjoy the weekend of creativity and it's just a little something from me to you to say thank you for your continued support. So I think that's enough of me. I am going to sign off. I've actually put the slow cooker on today. How organised am I? Uh, so I know dinner, I love slow cookers. If you haven't got one, you need to get one, especially uh, in the sales next month because it's like having your, it's like having your meal served at you and it's so much fun. Anyway, I go off on a tangent. So the other thing to remember is next week, um, there is Craft and Coffee Morning, the Bella is actually back on um, with her wonderful Wednesday and then I'm back on on Thursday uh, so it's going to be a jam-packed week of different shows on different themes so I'm going to sign off now I'm going to wish you all a fabulous evening a fabulous weekend take care stay safe God bless you all happy crafting and I look forward to seeing you again very soon uh, for some more crafting fun with Debbie Moore Designs bye bye for now take care and God bless